Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to some more Soma. I apologize about last episode. I'm not sure what happened. Um, just weird things. Sometimes... Sometimes some things break. Thank you, Catherine. Alright. What do we have down here anyways? Wow. She's just turned on the whole facility. Oh my. Why would they all leave this floor? I don't get it either. It's like they all just cleared out. Well, there's some black boxes mixed around, so. What's over here? Um, nothing? Whole lot of nothing. Okay. And let's go over here. Wow. What's so interesting downstairs? The fuck? Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Friggin' Should jump scare. Check? Rather not. Got a bad feeling about this. Freaking jump scare. Dang it. Alright, game, you got me once. Well done. Well done. Oh, a mirror. Well, that's us. That is us. There you go. That's what we look like. It's not a great picture, but it's a picture. Okay. Just, just looking. There might, oh, there might be something. I don't know. Or you know, there's nothing. It's not like there's collectibles on this game or anything. You don't have to check the toilets for tinder boxes. Maybe they wanted to keep close to the shuttle station in case something went wrong. You really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. Or they're all dead. Cuz you know that happens. You're not going to get me twice with that. You got me once. I'll give you that. Don't push your luck, game. Don't push your luck. Guy Conrad, this is ominous. Why the seal? Oh wow, it's dark. You're gonna hear everything kind of creaking outside. Disrepair. Oh, the Omni tool. I think it's the Omni tool. Okay. Anything? Not really. He was just looking to modify the Omni tool, I guess. Huh. I like all the, the papers. Space. Artistic drawings. That's all really cool. Got some alcohol. Got more alcohol. Surface. Is... I feel like... No. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know where that is. Hmm. It's interesting the difference. This almost looks like a stock photo with some art added in the background. Whereas this looks like they just drew it. It's just interesting. It's a cool picture. Alright. Well, may as well leave the light off. Okay. Maggie, Kurobi. Brandon Juan. We've got Catherine... 
Chun. Well, it's her room. Hey, that's my room. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. Is it though? Is it just memories, I wonder? What would you have left in your room? Oh, that's cool. A little bit of a cool Japanese band. fan. Thanks. Reminds me of Taipei, my hometown. Can I just like... Okay. I thought maybe because I touched the fan. Maybe it is because I touched the fan. I don't know. Okay. I seriously doubt you'll find anything useful in there. Might find something about you. Huh. Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Kobe always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. I noticed. Creepy. I guess. What's with the junk? Looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, you mean... Yeah, that's a part of Reed's vivarium. It's... It, it, it's a long story. Forget it. Aww. Oh, clothes. That's what those are. <laughs> I was like, what's this? Clothes. They're they're just clothes. You don't have to search my room. We'll get by. What else? Colonel. No, not that. I don't care about that. What's this? It just says Colonel Rep 9, A to Z. Oh, collected reports. Well, that makes things easier to understand now, doesn't it? Huh. Okay, well, got a suit. What's in the device? June 6, 2103. Image and read tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way. Like someone had specifically created it for the WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned, then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. Huh. That doesn't... That doesn't make... Maybe the WoW made the machine? I don't know. That's weird. June 14th. After dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear the WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the, the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction, except for one point where my capsule houses flat people constructed from model neurographs. The Vivarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by content from the originating brain scan. Read emerge. What? It's limited by content from the originating brain scan. Read emerge. That is, still doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know. The read inside the very was a perfect copy. So it is as if read were the vivarium. And you can't tell the difference. Freed could not tell the difference. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the Vivarium, but I can replicate WoW's scanning technique using the pilot seats. They're already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. Alright. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using that seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the Mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using pilot seats and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. Okay. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something's gonna live on like that. Mark Strain killed himself after his scan. 
He had been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff and apparently it's my fault somehow. Strohmeyer is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. Fair enough. The AR capsule. Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before. Unfolded one of them to make a new friend for the capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. Huh. So Catherine and Simon have met before. And the Catherine and the gang of legacies. New way to simulate the turbulence makes the weather system so much better. Implemented Reed didn't go well. New try with Reed. Reed won't play nice with others. She's too real. Odd. Quite odd. I feel like the computer is shimmered. What's a little projector? Looks homemade. That's my attempt at building a vivarium. It's kind of a proto-arc. But it doesn't seem like I can access the computer. As far as I can tell. Huh. Oh. You have a lot of toys. Huh. Okay. Hairbrush. Similar to the one sitting next to me. Alright. No, I don't want the hairbrush. Nothing else to read. Nothing under a pillow. Nothing under the bed. I guess there's nothing else in here. Except for some trash. Alright. Hey, problem solved. Huh. Oh, you got weights, too. Oh, man. That is, listen to that. Just, just, just listen. That's a great sound effect. That sounds so heavy. Alright, well, I guess that is that. Goodbye. Next is... Mark Serang. Huh. Okay. The guy who committed suicide. What? What are you talking about, sir? Something about the wow. Who? You see a face? I see a really dark picture. Mathematical calculations about the wow. I guess. All right, more math. It's just gibberish. It's just gibberish. Apparently those things are important. The little white balls are important and it connects to the tendrils, which are also important. And then more gibberish math. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. That's a that's a appropriate. It's in the chem lab. Huh. Well Mark? You have a weight as well. Interesting. You have a brain. The nature of identity. Questions about the self. Who are you? What does it mean to be human? Does your body or your surroundings confine or define you? All very difficult ideas to approach without having your questions be invalidated by the practical or mystified by the spiritually minded. 
In this book, Pavlina Martineau, professor of philosophy at Charles University in Prague, guides you through the history of great thinkers and what they have to say about identity. That would be an interesting read. Classified. Mark Sarang, intelligence analyst. Mrs. Sarang, the company is very pleased to hear about your success in making the WoW a station-wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Roths is able to steer and study the WoW from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important, costly affair. We hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. Supervisory board. This was two years ago. Within two years, the WoW took over the facility. Also, Alpha? What and where is Alpha? Is that the mystery one that was out to the north on one of those maps? Maybe. Extension event C. For the Haimatsu board 55 brutal, just event C. 218. Okay. There's various codes. I mean, this might be important information. Something we could try. But uh, no dialogue, so I guess not. Just more of the same. Lots of just random books. Fair enough. All right, it almost looks like it belongs there. He's got a stapler. Okay. Sound confidential. Something about the wow, how it works, I guess. What's this? Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I have explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. Do not frighten Catherine. I'll do this in secret by folding cyanide salt into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down, quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the truth about my death, know there is no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you all do the same and join me inside the Ark. Sincerely, Mark Sarang. Okay. He's trying to move the bird. Eh, whatever. Did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days, while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans, as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars.
I understand his logic. Like, I get it. But that's not how the stream of consciousness works. The divergent is... Yes, you, you will diverge. You are correct. You are correct. You will diverge. But... That doesn't mean that those differences need to... Those differences don't change anything. You, you're basically, you're creating another person when you diverge. A clone of yourself that goes out and lives their own life and has their own experiences. So to kill yourself, to kill your physical body, is a waste of, of your own life. I get that you're trying to make a, a stream of continuity, but that's, you, you lose the stream. It's like when you when you watch a tree, it grows up, and then at a certain point, it grows out in an angle. Well, at one point, it would have grown out in a Y shape, but you cut off the other half of that Y before it ever grew, so it looks like a continuous stream, when in reality, it's two different timelines. One of them just managed to end way, way earlier than it should have. That's what it is. It looks con looks like looks like it's continuous, but really, you just killed one of the timelines and the other one succeeds. That's all that happens. Anyways, we've spent 20 minutes, so we're gonna stop here, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Thanks to Amphid and Simon for being Patreon supporters, and I'll see you all next time with more Soma. Thanks for watching. DFTBA.